Hello everyone, uh, this is Paul from the APN Academy and we are continuing with our series of doing top-down analysis whereby we show you and implement whatever we have been teaching you on this channel since we started uh, posting videos on it. So we implement uh, all the topics to show you that they are practical and you can use them in your day-to-day -day trading and we shall be showing you how actually you can use each topic and how you can implement each and every topic that we have posted on this channel where applicable and where each of them can be used, right? So without wasting time, today we're going to be using an example or we're going to be uh, breaking down gold at the current chart. Remember, we're doing current chart, not uh, the the history whereby we show you examples, right? So let's start with from the monthly. As usual, when you're when we're doing a top down analysis, we're going to be looking at monthly first. Monthly gives us direction, right? Then we go to weekly. Weekly gives us the uh, swing structure. Uh, this one is a swing structure. Then when we go down to daily, we shall be having the intraday structure. So. People are going to be doing intraday, whatever levels we mark in daily, those are your levels that you should focus at. Those are going to be doing swing trading. When we, when the structures we shall be identifying in weekly, those are your structures. But monthly gives us the overall direction of whatever instrument we shall be touching. This is a bare minimum as long as you've been following this channel. It's what you should start with. Monthly, weekly, and daily. All of them should be aligning. Or if they're not aligning, what do you pick out of them? What's the missing piece? And how do you tackle that? It's what we're going to be doing. All right. So let's start from monthly as usual. Uh, what do we see monthly? Uh, uh, what is happening on monthly on gold? Now, starting from monthly here, uh, we shall first identify a lower point whereby the market did not retest here. Because uh, the market, uh, let me just adjust it like this. The market uh, came down, gave us the starting point here, broke down, came, gave us a reaction here, broke down, again, broke up and tested it, meaning this level here is very strong. So when we came here, we broke down, never tested it, again, broke up, never tested it. So this is a virgin area that needs to be having a reaction on it. That's one point that you need to identify in monthly. But right now, it's sort of so much interest to us, right? What is so much of interest to us is exactly where gold is. So I'll just go to line chart to identify this standing point here. Do you see this standing point here? Let me just adjust it so that you can see well. Remember we said when you're drawing a, a horizontal support and resistance levels, you have to use it. You have to uh, use the line chart so that you can get exactly where price closed from, right? So now I'll just go back to the candle chart so that we can see the communication. And you can clearly see that this was a previous resistance area where price closed and pushed price down. When price came back, it reacted exactly to this level here. Then right now, the market made the higher high, higher low, higher high. So currently we are testing this point here. Now, what are we interested in seeing? We're interested in seeing that either gold will break below this point, retest it, then continue down. When it breaks below here, we shall know that our uh, our target is this one here. The long-term overview, the long-term target that we shall be focusing on will be this point here. But if then... Uh, break this point, there are higher chances we could actually continue a little bit up because all of this area here is a resistance area. Why is it a resistance area? Because from here, the market was rejected, went down. From here, the market was rejected, it went down. And also from here, you can see the market has been rejected so far where it has pushed us back down here. So either for us to have a long-term sell to come and test this point here that has not been tested, we need the market to break below this point, retest, and then push down. And you guys all know that the month is ending today. Today is 31st of May, but we don't know what will happen. Now let's check what the lower time frames are telling us. But before we check, I would just like to add on a level that could be of importance to us. I'll just add it here. We have this point here, this line here, which currently we are below of, right? This Also, this is a high, this standing point here. So when I go back to candlesticks, it will be much more clear here. We are, we are currently below it. So we are, it's like we're trapped between this resistance and this support here, which was previous resistance acting as our support. Now, when we go down to weekly, uh, what do we observe? Please, guys, make sure that your charts are very clean. Do not make your charts dirty. Now, when you come to weekly, you can clearly observe that we have an M, right? And the neckline has been broken. And we know that after the neckline is broken, this is the M I'm talking about. After the neckline is broken like this, we need a retest to the neckline here. So it's currently what we are observing, the market pushing to this. And remember, we got this green level here, the green levels from the monthly time frame. So this neckline here is aligning properly with the monthly. Uh, level or resistance that we got and currently the market is below it so are we going to observe a retest here then from here we shall be deciding uh, deciding depending on what price is doing or showing us is there a loss of momentum is there structure is there change of structure so that we can sell back down to this point and possibly even break or we shall even break above this point and continue up we cannot tell until we see the reaction of price so i'm just going to mark uh, this neckline here which is nicely aligning with uh, with the with the monthly uh, resistance that we marked, which currently is support. So it's currently, it was support when price was still above here, but now it's resistance because the market has broken below it. 
Now, this is what we have in weekly. Also weekly, we can clearly see that this monthly green level that we marked in monthly, this one here, is aligning properly with the previous uh, resistance here. The market went up, came down, broke above, retested this area here, meaning it is a support now. When the resistance is broken, it becomes support, which kind also the market is reacting on here, meaning that this level is very strong. So we have an M, we expect a retest, and we see if the market will give us a reaction or it will aggressively break above, then we continue. We don't know yet. We shall see from what pri price will do. So when we go down to daily, what do we observe? Let me just go down to daily here. Now, when you come down to daily, uh, those who have been following us, uh, how we have been breaking down gold, you've known that we have always been talking about this level here. The market created a high, higher low, equal highs, higher low, higher high, left this area untested and came and made a higher low here, broke above, came and made a retest on this same point, failing to break it. Played around here, failing to break it, broke above, retested, made a lower high, broke down, retested it, and then finally broke back below this point. Now, if you to observe, this same area here was previously support, rejected price. Support, rejected price, support, rejected price, support, rejected price. Currently, we are below it, and we created even an M on it. So once an M is created again, we expect price to come back here. And you can see the neckline of this M is properly aligning with this area we have marked. We marked a green area in monthly. This blue slab, we marked it in weekly and also daily saying that in this same area, I have a neckline. So meaning actually this neck, this blue slab is a very, very strong level that we need to watch out for. So we shall need the market to push inside here. Then we shall observe what price will do. Will it give us a reversal to come back down? Because also we have a structure here, right? If you actually go to line chart, you will realize that actually there's like a hidden W there. Do you guys observe this? There's a hidden W. That's why I taught you guys how to use line chart. Most people tend to ignore line chart, but it's a very, very important type of chart, right? So we have like a structure down here. So I'll just go back to candlestick. If the market can give us a push here and loses momentum, we shall most likely expect the market to come and test this structure it has created here, which is aligning with this level. If it breaks aggressively, then we shall have this as a resistance, a weak momentum retest, then we can start a journey down here. Remember this level here is not tested, right? So... We have already mapped out our area. Remember the importance of doing a top-down analysis to map out your areas, then the rest happens in the lower time frames. Now we know that this area is very strong, but if the market broke this area above, where will we be targeting? We shall be targeting this area here, which also was strong resistance here, strong resistance, strong resistance, broke above, became support, support. So if we break above here, we know that we are coming here. But if this area here rejects price, we know that we shall be coming down here. We have a confluence of a structure here plus a monthly level. So these are the levels that we are, we are going to be trading in between. You can use it for as long as you want, as long as they have not been broken. These are the areas that you can be trading between, both for daily traders, swingers, you know. The blue levels are the swinging levels. You see if the market breaks this green and blue level, we know that we are coming down here. This green level here is a strong monthly and also proper aligning with weekly. So if it is broken, we know that on the retest, we shall be having a push down here. If this upper one is broken, we shall know that we shall be going to this green level up here, right? This is just uh, the mapping out of a bigger time frame. So we know the skeleton which we're going to be using. All the levels have been marked out for you here, right? You can see the chart is very clean. No many things, no a lot of indicators and all that. So let's try to drop down to the H4 and then we observe uh, what is exactly happening. Now, when you come to H4, you can clearly see that the market is making Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Tested, lower low. This area here was tested. We had a false breakout, broke down. We came back, tested it. These are equal lows. The market finally broke, retested it. And then we have like a triple bottom here. So false breakout here, the market is kind of coming to this area. So there are higher chances. The market, if it loses momentum, there's a level that is not tested here. So it will be a reason for us to come back to this level here. Alternatively, if we break above here, you can clearly observe that the market will be coming here because this area was broken here and never tested. You can see it's a virgin area. So we shall be coming to test here. So uh, observe how the market is approaching this area here. Is it losing momentum? If changes trend from here, you know that we're going to be targeting this area here. Of course, if you're scalping or doing some small intraday, this will be your first target. And then this will be your second target. Or if it breaks above on a weak momentum retest into this area here, into this area, and then you can have a target up to up here. So those who trade gold, this is exactly the levels that we are spotting out, actually, we, we, that we have been using because we already mapped them out ever since they did happen. We traded gold. Those who have been following us and the breakdowns that we do in the channels, uh, you know that uh, we had the breakdown after this impulse. We expected the market to come here and then give us a weak push up here and then we can uh, come down with it to 
to this level here. Now, when the market broke this level here, higher chances are we expected it to push down, which is which exactly did that. Now we expect to see a reaction here. If it gives us a weak momentum, we shall push back down. If it breaks aggressively with a weak retest here, we shall know that we are coming here. Now, all this will depend with what the uh uh what will happen on Friday. We know that every first Friday of the month we have the non-farm payroll whereby we want to see uh, how many jobs were added, how many were lost, and all that. You know, those are important factors uh, that drive the economies. And you know, uh, gold is paired against the US dollar, and the US dollar is affected by that report that will be coming out on Friday. Otherwise, I hope you guys will utilize these levels here, because no matter what news brings, still we expect the gold to move in these particular levels. That is it. Hope you guys are learning more from these videos that we are producing daily on how you can actually map out your levels and do top-down analysis better accuracy. Have a great time.